Hi, it's Dr. Katya. I'm not a real doctor, but I am a licensed nail technician, and I'm also a hypochondriac. In my spare time, I like to use the information superhighway to diagnose and cure mysterious illnesses. You can count on me for 100% medically accurate information. My first patient is Ginger from Ottawa. Dear Dr. Katya, I have a really embarrassing problem. Every time I laugh out loud, I pee, and not a little, a lot, a full stream of urine. This is particularly problematic because one of my favorite things to do is go to see comedy shows, but I've been kicked out of three comedy clubs for soaking the seats in urine. There are only four clubs in my town, so I'm really worried that I'm gonna lose my chances of seeing live comedy forever. What should I do? All right, Ginger, I'm gonna log on to homedepot.com and see if we can figure out solution to your problem. What I would suggest is go to the hardware store and you grab a bunch of insulation, sawdust, caulking, duct tape, and plastic tarping. So you grab all those materials and you're gonna create a panty diaper snowsuit out of the plastic. So cut two large pant-like shapes and you're gonna sprinkle a layer of sawdust and then a, a thick layer of insulation and then tape that to your body with duct tape. But before that step, you're gonna take the caulking gun and caulk up your pussy to seal the hole. This is a foolproof way to enjoy all the comedy greats like Weird Al Yankovic and Dane Cook, Guy Fieri, Rita Rudner, Gilda Radner, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, Carrot Top, Gallagher, Paula Poundstone, Sarah Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon. We love to laugh, and I love that you love to laugh, so good luck and Godspeed. Next patient is Mario from Atlantic City. Dear Dr. Katya, I'm a go-go dancer, and I've recently developed a large, nasty boil on my ass. I have a gig tomorrow night, and I need to dance in a jock strap. I'm afraid to lance it. What should I do? Well, Mario, let's go to Movie Phone and see if Jurassic World is still playing. Okay, you could lance it, but it's gonna take at least a week to scab over and clear completely, so here's what you do. Grab some acrylic paint, a couple of googly eyes, and incorporate it into your act, okay? You rely on tips. So what if you have a little friend named Gino who's dancing with you? You paint a little face, you put a little, grab some of your pubes and make you know, a little toupee for Gino, and then he'll get tipped and you'll get tipped and uh, you'll make more money. My next patient is Katrina from Bucharest, Romania. Dear Dr. Katya, I love to fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles, but I'm worried that my strange compulsion will jeopardize my chances of getting into the sorority that I'm currently pledging. Phi, Beta, Gamma, Kappa, Delta work. Well, Katrina, let me go on to AmericanAirlines.com and check in for my flight. Ooh, upgrade. Listen, Katrina, I'm gonna level with you. I fart in the bathtub all the time and I bite the bubbles, but do I do it in front of my kids? No. Some activities should be kept in private, and this is one of them. So best of luck, and I hope you join that sorority. My next patient is Brenda from Big Sur, California. Dear Dr. Katya, I've recently discovered that I'm allergic to acrylic nails. The problem is I don't feel like a woman unless I have six inch talons attached to my fingers. What do I do? Well, let's go on plentyoffish.com and find you a husband. Okay, Jean from Maryland is 46, recently divorced, unemployed, unemployable. Ooh, Mauricio, 47 years old, just up the coast in Carmel, has a gurgling problem, allergic to Diet Coke, but loves it anyways. Julio and Costa Mesa. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm a nail technician, so I have a good idea for you. Here's what you do. You grab some flexible fabric tape and emery boards, and you just tape those to your fingers. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that there are a million alternatives to acrylic nails. You've got popsicle sticks, Q-tips, wood chips, gummy worms, thin slices of beef jerky, turkey jerky. You can shellac a fortune cookie. Basically, the sky's the limit when it comes to taping shit to your fingers. Good luck. Well, I hope all this 100% medically accurate information was helpful, useful, and beneficial to your mind, body, and soul. Thank you so much.
Warning, Katya's medical advice is for entertainment value only. Following some or any of her advice may result in nausea, fever, being forever alone, cold flashes, hot flashes, room temperature flashes, excessive flatulence, constipation, spontaneously bursting into song, spontaneously bursting into flames, unexpected pregnancy, or unwanted death. And don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents. Hey Katya, WOW Legal here. Um, do you really like to eat your fart bubbles? Because maybe we have more in common than you think. Call me. 